Each state is home to a multitude of bakeries, but there are a few that stand out for their delectable goodies. By scouring reviews, looking through awards, and of course, doing a bit of eating of our own, we've put together a guide showcasing the best bakery in every state. This Montgomery bakery boasts freshly baked from scratch cupcakes. Many reviews mention that they're incredibly delicious and moist, and they're made just as a perfect cupcake should be. The flavor options are abundant, with everything from red velvet and banana pudding to pecan pie. And the sweet potato cupcake? That just might take the cake. Located in Anchorage, this bakery claims that it makes bread the way it ought to be, and people sure seem to like the methodology. The bread here really is out of this world, and it sure seems like people in the area have caught on. Best of all, the bread isn't the only thing at this bakery. Other menu items include muffins, scones, cookies, and ridiculously delicious cinnamon rolls. It might be surprising that this bakery is tucked away in a strip mall in Tempe, but don't knock it until you've tried it. They have everything from lemon croissants to mini shepherd's hand pies on the menu. And while the menu is vast, there's one item that Squares is known for, the caramelized croissant, a dessert some have said was worth readjusting their entire life for. Rick's Bakery has been baking in Fayetteville since 1980, and given the expansive menu, it's pretty difficult to visit this shop without walking away with a bag full of treats. The menu boasts everything from yeast and cake donuts, sweet and savory croissants, and beautiful cakes to even pies and cream puffs, truly making it a one-stop shop for sweet lovers. While plenty of bakeries offer cookies, the fact that Milk Jar continues to continuously offer freshly baked cookies in small batches is what puts them at the top of the list for many. And with so many flavors, including Banana Split, Rocky Road, and Milk and Cereal, the options are fun, with many fans saying they're the best cookies they've ever had. Wimburgers has been serving up German breads and pastries since 1970, utilizing recipes that have been passed down for generations, and publications have included it on lists of must-explore international bakeries in Colorado. Based on its German authenticity, with items such as soft pretzels and Kaiser rolls, it rightfully deserves the attention. It's the stop for the bread just like you might enjoy in Germany. If you want the best donuts, you go to Neil's. Established in 2001, this Wallingford donut shop and bakery has been serving up donut flavors like French toast, key lime, and apple crumb for years. Or it might be their raspberry jelly donut that puts Neil's on the map, cut in half and filled by hand, the old-fashioned way. Bing's Bakery has been serving up sweet treats in Delaware since 1871, making it the longest-running bakery in Delaware. And with that long of a history comes an expansive menu of sweet treats that you're sure to adore. But what Bing's is most known for is its attention to detail with custom cakes. Satisfied customers go here for delicious and beautiful custom sweets that just happen to come in a huge variety of flavors. And birthdays will never be disappointing again. Chantal, looks like you had some problems. <laughs> yes, I had some, some um, I did a bad job. While this Miami hotspot bakery offers a full brunch menu, it's the pastries under the same roof that it's known for. But these aren't your average muffins and croissants. Offering up options such as the charcoal croissant or strawberry and goat cheese croissant, this is the place to stop for innovative pastries. And while the croissants are unique, it's the cruffin that everyone raves about. A cross between a croissant and a muffin, and filled with cream. Root Baking Co. is known for its offering of breads, although it offers all kinds of baked goods. And owner Chris Wilkins' knack for pastry and treats was recognized when he was named a semi-finalist for the 2019 James Beard Outstanding Baker Award. This Atlanta gem offers brunch too, but be sure if you sit and stay to grab another loaf of bread to go as well. This Honolulu bakery opened in 1950, so it's certainly been around the block a time or two. And while the extensive menu boasts a variety of treats such as danishes and scones, this bakery is known for its famous cocoa puffs and poi donuts. The cocoa puff pairs a chocolate custard filling with Chantilly frosting, and fans have said it's nothing short of divine, while the poi donut is nothing short of revered. Located in Boise, Zanzu has been serving up cakes and pastries since 2013. 
bakery owner, Moshik Mizrachi Gabitas, originally from Israel, brings her passion for quality baked goods made with fresh ingredients in her offerings, including beautiful tarts, pavlova, and brioche, along with unique flavors of cookies and crackers, making this a standout for any visitor to Idaho. If Cookie Puss knew, he'd tear us apart with his fangs. Chicago's Lost Larson serves up options such as chocolate spelt cookies, cardamom buns, and fresh baked bread with in-house ground grains. And the bakery has been noted as one of the 10 best artisanal bakeries in North America. And while the menu is vast, it's the chocolate hazelnut croissant that takes the cake. Amelia's has made a name for itself in downtown Indianapolis. Serving up a wide array of treats and sandwiches, this Indiana jam is a must-visit at any time of day. But it's the freshly baked bread here that really has everyone talking. But don't forget to grab a brownie while you're at it, with a tad of sea salt sprinkled on top. Yorzma Bakery has been providing a taste of Holland in Pella since 1898. If it's been around for this long, then you know it has to be good. The selection here is huge, with everything from apple bread and almond butter cake to cookies on the menu. But what Yarzma is known for is its Dutch letters. These pastries are made of puff pastry with almond paste inside, shaped in the letter S. The bread served here includes country French Kalamata olive and pecan raisin, and all of the breads at this Lawrence Bakery have been baked in a wood-fired Spanish oven. It's been that way since 1995, and that specialty bread baking process earned this bakery a lot of positive press over the years. But it's not just about the press for this bakery, the customers agree as well. Known for freshly stocking their selections of treats each day, Bluegrass Baking Company has been named one of the best bakeries in the South. Sweet options range from cookies and pies to beautiful fruit tarts and croissants, but it's the stone oven-baked bread that puts this spot on the map. Fans have boasted that it's definitely the best bread in town, and maybe even the whole country. Chef Kelly Fields opened the Willa Jean Bakery in New Orleans in 2015 with an incredible brunch menu paired with a booming selection in the pastry case. Since then, she has received two recognitions as a semi-finalist for the James Beard Outstanding Pastry Chef Award, finally taking the crown in 2019. But even with such an expansive pastry offering, it's the good old-fashioned chocolate chip cookies and cornbread that put Fields and Willa Jean on the map. This Portland bakery has been serving up an array of breads, along with scones, brownies, and cookies since 1995. And while all of those selections are scrumptious, it's the croissants at this bakery that have been nationally recognized, earning a spot on the list of top croissants in America. Perhaps that's the recipe that earned co-owner Allison Prey a finalist spot in the James Beard Awards Outstanding Baker category. There aren't many bakeries out there that are both gluten-free and vegan, but this Baltimore gem is one of them. Utilizing fresh, organic ingredients, Harmony serves up cakes, cupcakes, and pies, all of which are soy, gluten, and dairy-free, and they're totally vegan. And while some may hesitate with vegan or gluten-free baked goods when they're used to something more old-fashioned, Harmony has received rave reviews. Sofra Bakery has been whipping up treats in Cambridge since 2008. Since then, owner and pastry chef Maura Kilpatrick has received numerous nominations and awards. The menu here is exceptional, with the exceptional croissants, along with the date turmeric roll filled with dates and cinnamon doused in cream cheese icing. It's no wonder fans have said it's the best pastry they've ever had. If you're in Detroit and pie is your thing, Sister Pie is the place to be. The business launched in 2012, and James Beard nominee for Outstanding Baker, Lisa Ledwinski, has been trying new and creative pie recipes ever since. Menu options include the banana peat pie, buckwheat chocolate chip cookies, and salted rosemary shortbread. But it's the salted maple pie that people really rave about when mentioning Sister Pie. Sun Street Breads opened in 2011 under the direction of Solvig Taft, who competed on the USA team for the Coupe du Monde de la Boulangerie, an artisan baking contest in France. In 2015, Andrew Zimmer named this Minneapolis gem as one of his favorites. The Laugen croissant with a soft pretzel-like finish has been highly regarded at this bakery, but it's the downtowner, cinnamon roll made from croissant dough, that keeps people coming back.
Embracing from scratch southern baking, Sugary's in New Albany has been offering up some of the most delicious and moist cakes since 1997. The flavor options for layer cakes include caramel, coconut, and classic red velvet, along with cream cheese pound cake, which topped Oprah's list of favorite things. And while the bakery is based in Mississippi, many of the cakes can be shipped to any sweet tooth needing a fix. With a Le Cordon Bleu education, Nathaniel Reed has been well known for leading successful pastry programs in top restaurants throughout the U.S. and opened his bakery in St. Louis in 2016. With those accolades, it's no surprise this spot has been named a must-visit stop in St. Louis. Visitors will find an array of stunning pastries, macarons, and meringues, along with the croissants that fans refer to as next level, and cakes that might bring tears to your eyes. This Missoula bakery started out as a longtime home business, selling baked goods at the local farmer's market. But with popularity and growth, owners Jack and Christy Wick opened up a permanent shop. Now, Black Cat Bake Shop is a must-stop for fans when they're making their way through. The bakery's menu is jam-packed with sweet and savory croissant options, muffins, scones, danishes, and even gluten-free donuts. Katina Talley, a former food scientist, reopened the bakery Sweet Magnolias in Omaha in 2016. The offerings here include danishes, scones, and cinnamon rolls, along with cake and pie slices. And while the offerings are plentiful, it's the old-fashioned cookies that receive rave reviews. The options are vast, but it's the cookies that keep fans coming back for more. Baking in Las Vegas since 1959, Freed's is known for an extensive menu, from French macarons and cookies to eclairs and cannoli. But what really sets Freed's apart is its cake, sold by the slice at the bakery, working up to 8-inch party cakes to full sheet cakes. Freed's certainly had its time in the spotlight on the Food Network's Vegas Cakes, but customers give their cakes the same acclaim. Elephantine Bakery is all about bringing French tradition to baked goods in Portsmouth. And with a devotion to fine bread and pastries, fans have referred to this spot as magical. Plenty of bread options such as seeded whole grain and rosemary focaccia top the menu, with danishes and palmier to boot. But the pastries really get the top prize here. This Englewood Bakery is a staple for those looking for a huge variety of bakery options for any time of day. And based on the stellar reviews of this place, you really can't go wrong. You can enjoy savory pastries made with colorful local produce, along with tarts, pies, and cakes, and all of the classic breakfast pastries you'll ever desire. This Albuquerque gem gained recognition on Guy Fieri's diners, drive-ins, and dives but it's been family-owned and making a name for itself since 1972. The pastries at this spot aren't your average croissants and cookies. Golden Crown focuses on old New Mexican recipes, featuring items like the Biscochito cookie made with blue corn and fruit empanadas. If you're a cookie lover, you'd be remiss not to visit this gem. And luckily, given its popularity, there are seven locations to choose from in the state. On a mission to create the ultimate chocolate chip walnut cookie, Levain opened in 1995. And while it's hard to believe that one cookie could make a bakery so popular, it has become a New York icon. I want to send my driver into Manhattan to pick up dessert. Anybody know a good place for cupcakes? I think there's a Mac place. Give me a break. I'm on it. This bakery opened in Cary in 1999 with a focus on French baking and an old-world approach to baking. The bread selection, including challah and Scandinavian rye, are baked with unbleached flours, contributing to their flavor and impeccable crunch. And while the selection here is great, fans really rave about the white chocolate mini baguette, which some even refer to as life-changing. This bakery has been serving up pastry in Fargo since 2003. Since then, it's been noted as one of the top places to eat by Food Network. The menu is just brimming with dessert options, from espresso and strawberry swirl cheesecake and Napoleons to cannoli. But for many, it's the house-made creme brulee that takes the cake. Or dessert, we guess. Serving up bakery breads and pastries in Centerville since 2008, Matt Buselis has been devoted to baking with 100% natural ingredients in all of his treats. The danishes and coffee cake are highly regarded, but the flaky pastries are what truly stand out here. The ham and cheese and buttery croissants have been noted as phenomenal. 
a top-notch bakery in Oklahoma City since 2010, Pie Junkie is the perfect place for people who love pie. You can go in and grab a slice of pie or take home a whole pie or two. Flavors range from classic apple and cherry to unique offerings such as the pumpkin chiffon pie, a dessert that will absolutely change the way you think about pumpkin pie. Ken's Artisan Bakery has been serving up pastries in Portland since 2001. Everything from walnut bread and baguettes to morning buns and sandwiches is served at this bakery staple in Oregon. But what Ken's is really known for is having incredible croissants. With dreamy, buttery layers, these croissants receive high praise, but so do the many other offerings at Ken's, making it the perfect stop for something sweet or savory. The inspiration behind these offerings at this South Philadelphia gem has come from Chef Tova Duplacy and her experience at a handful of top U.S. restaurants. She's been recognized as a semi-finalist for the 2020 James Beard Outstanding Baker Award, along with receiving recognition for her challah bread. This sweet spot offers other delicious choices, such as guava pop-tarts, chocolate rugelach, and Jewish apple cake. It's not very often you get to go to a dairy farm and a bakery at the same time, but with Wrights in North Smithfield, you do. The dairy has been operating since 1896, with the bakery opening in 1976. Now, the bakery serves up pies, breads, and rolls, but the real treasures here are the treats that incorporate cream, such as cream puffs and cannolis. That's because the cream used to make these sweet treats is apparently coming from the cows just outside the door. If you want good cake in South Carolina, then the Sugar Bake Shop in Charleston is the place to go. Established in 2007, this shop has been devoted to delivering a delicious menu of house-made cupcakes. And with cake flavors such as red velvet and pumpkin ginger, it's certainly not hard to see why this shop has received rave reviews, along with being listed as one of the best places for cakes in the South by Southern Living. This Sioux Falls bakery boasts luxurious sweets, and their reviews tend to agree. Established in 2013, the bakery focuses on sweets with a bit of flair. And with owner and pastry chef Chris Hanmer's title as one of the top 10 pastry chefs in America, this bakery is certainly bringing stylish sweets to the table. And definitely don't forget to try a few macarons while you're there. Muddy's owner, Kat Gordon, believes that cake and baked goods are an expression of love, and she decided to bring that sentiment to the people of Memphis in 2008. Since then, the bakery has gained legions of fans because of its cookies, but the cupcakes have been highly regarded at this special spot, too. The real dilemma is just deciding what to get. Tucked away in San Antonio, this bakery has been listed as a bucket list item for those living in and visiting Texas. Established in 1941, the cafe serves up Tex-Mex favorites. The bakery in the front, established later in 1955, offers some of the best baked goods in Texas. The bakery serves up traditional panadiera offerings, but Mi Tierra is really known for its delicious pecan praline candy. Adalberto Diaz opened his bakery in 2013, but owning a bakery isn't the only feather in Diaz's cap. The chef has competed on Food Network's Best Baker in America and was named National Pastry Chef of the Year by the American Culinary Federation in 2012. And with that talent, he brought unique offerings to Utah, such as Cuban meat pies and guava cream cheese brioche, as well as a stunning assortment of macarons and cheesecakes. If cinnamon rolls are your thing, then look no further than this Westover spot. This bakery has been dishing up treats since 2010, with treats on the menu such as danishes, coffee cake, and cookies. But it's the cinnamon rolls at this bakery that really keep people coming back. Some guests have said that they're unlike anything else they've ever tasted. Blackbird Bakery opened in Bristol in 2008, with the goal of making people feel a little happier every time they walk through the doors. And with a menu of various bars, pastries, and donuts, there's something homemade on the menu for any dessert lover. For many, it's the donuts at this bakery that stand out more than anything else. But other favorites that rank high on the list include their cheesecake, pie, and cupcakes. This popular French bakery is tucked in Seattle's historic Pike Place Market, and it's hard to find a day where there's not a line out the door. It's that good. Every day they're dishing up incredibly buttery and flaky croissants, stunning breads, and a beautiful assortment of expertly prepared French macarons. You might have to wait in line, but it's absolutely worth it. If you could walk into a bakery to find European-style pastries and house-made gelato all in one spot, would you want to go anywhere else? 
This Spring Hill Bakery prides itself on using Belgian chocolate and natural flavors in its pastries. The menu includes hazelnut cake, guava cake, and milfoy, a puff pastry dessert with fresh vanilla cream and strawberries. And fans can definitely tell the difference with this bakery's focus on specialty ingredients. Batch Bakehouse opened its doors in Madison in 2009, and they bake everything there from scratch each morning. The bakery's offerings include classic French baguettes, along with challah and ciabatta, and its pastry case is full of selections, such as the morning buns and mini butter cakes. But it's the ham and gruyere croissant that makes this a must-stop spot in Wisconsin. This Jackson Bakery offers fresh bread and pastries and utilizes as many all-natural and high-quality ingredients as possible. It received the Gold Award for the Best Bakery in Jackson Hole, along with a James Beard Outstanding Pastry Chef nomination for 2020. And it's not hard to understand why. With fresh and flaky pastries such as croissants and cinnamon brioche, there's something for everyone with a sweet tooth. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about local favorites are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.